This is the world, and here is the island country, Australia. In Australia, there's a territory called Northern Territory. Around 100 km south from Darwin is a place called Litchfield National Park. In that park, there's a field full of wedge-shaped structures. They resemble some kind of prehistoric graveyard, perfectly aligned north to south. In fact, these remarkable structures are actually the architectural and scientific works of art built by the species of termite known as magnetic termite. These oriented mounds are complex nests home to the magnetic termite colony. Inside one mound, there are hundreds of thousands of termites. The mounds are up to 3 to 4 metres tall, 2.5 metres wide and 1 metre thick at the ground. At the bottom is the king and the queen and at the top there's a cemetery where they bury their dead. The shape of the mounds are an adaptation allowing for the termite survival in their harsh seasonal environment. They need to survive in the scorching heat but they can't bury it under the ground because the plains where they live are flooded during the summer monsoon wet season. Not only that, termites are very vulnerable to temperature change. Their skins are very thin, so if the temperature goes much above 30 degrees Celsius, they will die. However, in the plains of Northern Territory, the temperatures can soar to 40 degrees Celsius in the day and plummet to near freezing at night. So what they have devised is a climate-controlled mound designed to maintain a stable internal environment. The mounds are aligned so that the thin edge is facing north to south and the wide faces face east and west. So it's dawn and the sun is beginning to rise on the east side. As it rises, it will warm the east side to raise the temperatures inside. In the middle of the day, the sun is at its hottest, so the mounds are designed to taper off from a wide base to a thin turreted edge at the top. Therefore, when the sun is directly overhead, only a narrow profile is exposed to the sun, minimising heat absorption. Meanwhile, the east side is cooling. As the sun moves to the west side, the west face becomes hotter than the east. Towards dusk, temperatures can drop to as low as 5 degrees Celsius. The configuration of the mounds helps the internal temperature to increase rapidly in the morning after a cold night. It's like a temperature control mechanism. So how do they align them? In actual fact, the worker termites who build and repair the mounds are blind, so clearly they don't use the sun. Instead, they use the Earth's magnetic field, and experiments have been conducted to test this correlation. One such experiment was conducted by Dr. Pete Jacklin of the University of Sydney. Magnetic termite mounds are made up of tiny elongated cells aligned north to south. So in the experiment, a part of the mound was broken off and hand magnets placed inside. The damaged cells were repaired within a few months, but they were no longer aligned north to south. So how do they sense the direction of the Earth's magnetic field? A commonly suggested theory is the presence of magnetite in the termites' tissues. This allows them to orient themselves without any access to visual guide. Another is the theory of natural selection. The colonies with successful mounds thrive, while those without will perish. The termites have magnetic compasses programmed into their system, allowing them to sense a particular bearing. The successful mound orientation is genetically passed on to the next generation, similar to an architectural blueprint embedded in DNA. Much remains yet to be discovered about magnetic termites, but one thing's for sure is that they are truly remarkable creatures.